que hoy lo vieron en la, en la inauguración formal que hubo de la empresa, decirles, compañeras y compañeros, que nos sentimos muy orgullosos. Something extraordinary is happening here in Chiloma, Honduras. These maquiladora workers, employees of the apparel giant Russell Corporation, are celebrating a historic breakthrough for worker rights. They are going back to work. Me sentí alegre, emocionada, no tenía palabras, pues recuperar el trabajo no fue tan fácil. When these workers organized a union to press for better wages and conditions, Russell shut down the factory. The firing of the plant's 1,200 workers was a huge blow to efforts to improve conditions in Central America's Maquiladoras. The WRC had long been in contact with worker rights advocates and union leaders in Honduras who were involved in an effort to organize a union at one of Russell's wholly owned manufacturing facilities in that country. Los trabajadores de Jersey de Honduras y de Jersey Choloma llegaron a nuestras oficinas planteando muchas quejas. Empezaron a, a, a cambiar eh, los métodos de trabajo, a aumentar las metas de producción, a bajarnos los bonos de producción. Eh, empezaron a hostigarnos y empezamos a, a decirle a la gente pues, que, que teníamos que organizarnos. And it was clear, uh, based on a great deal of evidence that our organization gathered, that the decision of workers to exercise this fundamental, globally recognized right is the reason why their jobs were taken away and the factory was closed. Last month, Russell closed a factory in Honduras in retribution for some of its employees joining a union. That is the allegation. Factory supervisors were also accused of harassing union supporters, intimidating them, and denying access to the plant for inspection. Enter to this story, the University of Michigan, which is now the latest university to terminate their contract with Russell. Well, Russell was a licensee, and um, uh, through uh, a complaint system and a report written by the WRC, we were made aware of um, Russell's behavior. So we had to think pretty hard about it, but I think as I had conversations with Russell, which I did, um, and got the information from, you know, the Workers' Rights Consortium, we made a determination very clearly that uh, we were going to terminate that contract. The workers were being fired, the factory was being closed because of their organizing efforts, because of their attempts to assert their rights um, that Russell didn't like. So, you know, in the months after that, we were really trying to mobilize students directly. We were trying to get our university to refuse to do business. And in this case, there were a lot of universities that ended their contract. And I think because there was such a critical number ending the contracts that there was an overall impact. As a result, in substantial part of the efforts of universities to enforce their codes of conduct, Russell recognized they had to resolve the issues. And they came to the table and sat down with representatives of the union and negotiated a resolution uh, that is quite extraordinary uh, in its scope and content. Russell agreed to reopen the factory it had closed to get rid of the union, to rehire all 1,200 plus workers who had been employed there, to recognize and bargain in good faith in an environment of mutual respect with the union, and arguably, most important of all, to agree to respect the rights of workers throughout all of their factories in Honduras, where Russell and its parent Fruit of the Loom are the largest private employer to respect the right of all of their workers to unionize, which is a first in the global apparel industry in our experience. La verdad que me entraron ganas de llorar cuando supe que la empresa se abrió. Fue algo muy maravilloso. Mi nombre es Mirna Lizeth Chavarría López y estoy muy feliz, muy alegre de estar nuevamente en Jersey Nuevo Día. Ahora podemos llevarle un ingreso a nuestras familias. Y gracias a las universidades de Estados Unidos por ayudarlos y gracias a los estudiantes también. Gracias a las universidades, a todas las que estuvieron apoyándonos, eh, a esos jóvenes que sí nos apoyaron bastante y gracias, sencillamente gracias.